Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're at SC19 in Denver, Colorado, and today we're at the Liquid Ink booth with Sumit. Sumit, I, thanks for having me once again. Thanks again, Rich, for being here. Yeah, well, let's start at the beginning for folks who don't know who is Liquid Ink and who do you help? Absolutely. Uh, Liquid is a leader in composable infrastructure. Composable infrastructure is the next generation of data, se data center architecture. What we do with composability is we don't build servers statically. We build servers dynamically by taking software and reconfiguring servers on the fly to have any amount of storage, GPU, compute, networking that the application layer requires. And what we do is our fundamental mission is to turn the data center from statically configured to dynamically configurable. Cool. Okay. Well, what's new this week? This week we had two very exciting announcements. Um, the first announcement for us is around a partnership. Uh, at the show, we are doing a technology demonstration with Western Digital. What we are doing is we are composing Western Digital OpenFlex storage arrays using the Liquid Command Center software. What this gives us the ability to do is take this very high performance storage solution from Western Digital carve it up in using our composability software and then distribute that storage or compose that storage across the data center over 100 gigabit E. Dynamic way. In a dynamic way, right? The idea here is when my server runs out of storage, per se, we don't send a guy with a cart to plug more stuff in the front of the box. We reprogram the fabric and dynamically add storage to the node as it needs it, right? So make your storage dynamic and shareable across many different platforms. What's the other announcement then? The other announcement is around our core technology. We have two big core technology announcements we're talking about today. One of them is the ability to do multi-fabric. As you know, we started our adventures off by composing over PCIe. Over the last couple years, we've expanded that to also compose over Ethernet. One of the demonstrations we're showing over here is actually doing composabilities of GPUs over Ethernet. We think we're unique in that sense. So now I can have a box of GPUs inside my data center, connect it to my Ethernet network, and now share those GPUs across the data center over, over Ethernet. So we are very excited about that capability. The other thing that we're talking about, and this is kind of gets me excited every time I think about it, is our next generation of software, we are going to be able to start disaggregating traditional convert servers. So come in with our software, and if a box has SSDs, GPUs, and compute, we're going to be able to come in with software, disaggregate the entire rack into individual pools of storage, compute, and GPUs, and then allow you to recompose those on the other side using our software layer. It's been, it's, it's been fun to watch you guys and see it in all this advance, and I hope you have a great week here. Thanks again. I appreciate it, Rich. Thank you. You, you got it.